G'day folks, what is going on? Jacob coming at you with another video. Hope you're all doing very, very well. Coming at you on a little bit of a gloomy day here on the Gold Coast. Just um, getting a little bit of a work done. It's Friday for me. Just kicked off a new little launch yesterday, uh, which kind of inspired the idea for, for this video. Um, also a question that popped up from a member of one of my programs about um, the topic, which you'll be able to see in the, the title of this video, launches versus evergreen. Uh, so I thought I'd come on and quickly talk about it because I know it's a question that a lot of people have when they're trying to structure up their information business. Uh, we've done a lot of both and so I think I can probably give you some good guidance uh, around this topic and, and common question. Before we jump into it, if you haven't already, be sure to uh, give the video a like if you get value from it. If you want to join my free private community, that's going to be the first link in the description. Uh, really active over there. Um, post nearly every day, plenty of good, fun stuff going on, all that information marketing, high ticket affiliate marketing, uh, just helping folks make more money online. Generally, if you're into that kind of thing, I think you'll enjoy it. Links further down to some paid programs, you can check those out as well if you want. And if you aren't already a subscriber, I would encourage you to uh, jump on board as some cool stuff coming down the pipeline in 2022. So, uh, like I mentioned, I kicked off a, a new little launch uh, yesterday um, in my in my group and, and to the folks who are on my email list might have seen it as well and uh, gone well nicely one of the benefits of, of having a an audience and a, and a group and a, a tribe if you will that you really maintain and nurture day in and day out is that um, when you want to launch something you've got instant traffic right so I always encourage my, my clients and students to really build up a community and a following around their brand really helps with that and uh, off the back of that as well as a story that I posted, I got a message from a lady who's inside one of my programs and uh, she's in the real estate space. And she said, uh, she, she was basically asking, you know, does, does a certain income that I was, was talking about come from evergreen products? Um, and I'm not sure where the exact question came from, but it may have been kind of alluding to the fact that I'm doing a launch and yet there's these evergreen things. And um, I think for people that are getting started in the information game, be it coaching, consulting, whatever, um, they can sometimes get a bit confused as to which one is the right uh, model. Do you launch all the time or do you just create something evergreen and just focus on that? And we've done both, right? Like 2000 and, um, end of 2019 was when I really came out with my first major information product um, that's still around to this day and, and has like unparalleled results in the high ticket affiliate marketing game. It's called the Super Affiliate Accelerator. The link's in the description if you wanna check it out. Uh, and, and that's an evergreen product, right? Like that has been running for over two years now. We, we bring new people into that every single week and it's been updated, but we haven't like closed it down and then launched and then closed it down and then launched or like done tranches or intakes or anything like that. That is a full blown evergreen product. We've used different mechanisms to sell it from time to time, different sales videos, different sales pages, um, call funnels, all that kind of good stuff. But, but the offer, since we opened it after the beta period, it, it has always stayed open. So it's a true, true, true evergreen um, offer. The, uh, the other one that I've got at the moment is my inner circle. That's also an evergreen offer, um, but it's not something that people can just kind of publicly, publicly buy. Um, they either need to be invited or if they kind of approach me, we'll have a conversation and make sure that's the right fit. But it doesn't like close down and then, and then reopen. Um, same with my fast cash Rolodex program, also in the description. So that's on the evergreen side of the business. So there are these programs that are always open that um, in some way, shape or form, people can get involved in and it's not like there's a certain deadline. Okay, now on the flip side of that, over the last couple of years, and like I mentioned just last night, I uh, did, uh, started another uh, small launch for kind of a 12 day period. I wanted to test out a few things. We do launches as well. All right, now what are the pros and the cons of this? Launches are great because you've got a set period of time and you've got a hard deadline that is incredibly, incredibly powerful. Deadlines are unbelievably, unbelievably powerful. Um, one of my mentors says, you know, nothing sells like a deadline and every time I run a launch, I'm, I'm blown away at the kind of stampede that happens towards that end thing when it's disappearing or the price is going up or, or whatever. So you've got that genuine um, you know, you've got that genuine kind of psychological push with a with a deadline that comes with a launch. The um, and there's a couple of other kind of more nuanced things you can do 
along the way that make a launch really, really powerful. You can also have you know scarcity if you want to limit the number of spots. If you limit the number of spots and limit the time, just it just pushes down on that even more and makes it even stronger. Um, the problem with launching is that if that's your sole business model, it means that you're constantly kind of going again and going again and going again. And uh, I know a lot of people in the industry who have used that as their as their main thing for a number of years and they've done very well with it but ultimately a lot of them end up getting burnt out with with that model because you know you have to put in a lot of work and then you bring in a chunk of money and you're kind of on this income roller coaster you guys can see the new light i got for my my office there caris digital which is the, the name of my business um it's pretty cool i really like it I like the color uh so they get on this income roller coaster that's kind of going up and down and up and down and up and down. So I think people come into this game and they're like, well, what's the, what's the best option? Because you can make a ton of money with launches because of that reason that I mentioned, which is like, you've got that, you've got that FOMO factor. People, people kind of get, get caught up in it and they want to get involved. And, um, you know, you can really drive with a lot of social proof towards a deadline, but when it's done, it's done. You've either got to roll into a new launch, which means you need something new, you need a new package, a new bundle, which means you're constantly building new offers, which can be fine for a little while, but does get tiring. Um, but then on the evergreen side of things, you've got the more constant cash flow, but you don't have that same kind of urgency or scarcity to really try and push people over the line. You've got to, you've got to rely solely on the, um, the product and then being willing to, you know, jump in and for higher ticket stuff that's what you want anyway like you don't you don't want people kind of hype buying into something that's more expensive they need to be they need to be seriously committed to it for the long term otherwise it's it's pointless so with those two kind of models in mind what's my advice on this i would encourage you as you can probably pick up based on what i've done is to do both i would recommend having a core evergreen program one or two depending on how far along you are like i said I've got a couple of main ones, but I've been doing this for years at this point. Um, for a long time, we just had one. Uh, I would I would recommend having at least one like flagship evergreen program that is always available, and it kind of takes the heat off you needing to um, constantly launch and launch and launch and launch and launch. Which means if you if you want to go on holiday or you or you don't want to you know work as hard for a month or whatever, you've got something there that can still generate you cash flow consistently, and you can be always improving and improving and improving that sales process. Right now, in between that, right, like sporadically throughout the year, you know, you could do it once a month, you know, bi monthly, once a quarter, whatever. You can also do launches for, for two main reasons. One, they can be nice to bring in a, a cash influx. Um, I would anticipate this launch that I kicked off last night will probably do somewhere between maybe 10 and 15 grand. Um, really didn't take me long to pull together. I was utilizing some assets that I already had, and uh, so that's a you know that's a nice little um, income boost for the month. But the main reason it's not the money; it's the buyers. You extract buyers from your audience, and that's the real asset because then our relationship starts. They buy that first thing. They have a good experience. We get to know each other better. They get to know my style a little bit better. If this is the first thing they're purchasing, we're starting the relationship. If it's the second thing, the third thing, then we're progressing that relationship. And uh, ultimately, we can really start to look at ascending buyers from that point. So the real goal isn't just the, the influx of cash. That's obviously nice but it's to extract buyers from your audience. And so then they move into that next phase of your ecosystem where you could start to ascend them to your evergreen program. So you can see how those two can work hand in hand. We do, we've do we done this a lot. You do a launch to bring in a bit of quick cash and generate some buyers, but then you've got your evergreen thing on the back end where you can ascend people to. So they actually work really, really nicely hand in hand. If I was starting from absolute scratch, where would I begin? I'd start with my evergreen thing and it would be higher ticket and I would get that in place on the back end. And then I would get that rolling, make sure it's running smoothly. And then I would start to play around with some launches to do exactly what I've just told you. Start to extract buyers, get a bit of a cash injection, and then work on ascending them from the thing they've just purchased to your main thing um, and get that sequence really, really starting to um, really, really starting to move. Slightly more advanced, what you can then do is, you know, if you do a, a launch that's maybe for a live event or whatever, you can then flip that into a recording, which can become a front end, and then you can have kind of an evergreen ascension, 
and it can uh, it can really start to take off that way. But if you've been thinking about, you know, do I do launches? Do I do evergreen? What do I do? Which one's better? You know, all those kind of things. They've both got their pros. They've both got their cons, as with everything, right? I would encourage you to ultimately have a mix of both. Then you've got the best of both worlds. You've got the consistent cash flow of an evergreen offer, um, and you don't have to worry about this big like roller coaster. And then you can also do launches when you want to do them. But if you don't want to do them, you don't have to do them because you've got the alternative there. All right. If you want to dive more into this topic, information marketing, high ticket affiliate marketing, all that kind of stuff, be sure to join the private community. It's the first link in the description. You just have to answer a couple of questions. We'll get you over into that group. And uh, hopefully that answers that one if it's been on your mind. I appreciate you all checking out the video. Give it a like if this was of any value to you. And uh, I'm going to crack on with the day. I'll talk to you all soon. Cheers. Na 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 sha sha sha